Alrighty guys, so there's lots of space in here. If they would move ahead a little bit. But we got eight cows in that trailer right now. And I just gotta grab my paperwork, my manifest, because I forgot it. <clears throat> so and we'll be on the road to Whitewood, so I'll bring you guys back once we get to Whitewood. Talk to you then. Alrighty guys, while well, we're here, I kinda took my time. It's 1221 right now. One truck just pulling in to unload. And I know there's a well, there's a couple of trailers behind me pulling in right now. And I know there's a, a couple trailer loads coming out of the Weyburn country. One of our subscribers is bringing his cattle up here. In Poplar Grove, he was here last year. I had a couple of bread cow sales. And calves on the trailer in front of us. So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, we'll talk to you a little bit later after we're home. Alrighty, guys. Well, we made her home. The old Dodge, he pulled it off again. Anyway, you see the blue line? What the hell are we doing? Well, back here, ever since I built this section of corral, I had it in my head we were going to have corral back here and water bowl way out here and all kinds of freaking shit, but that ain't never happened. But ever since we did that, see the snow on the roof of the barn right there? The slabs catch the snow, it builds up against the back wall. Then the snow bank goes right over the roof of the barn and creates a major weight on the roof of the barn and then also in front of the barn on the other side. So, we're going to try. You want me to start over there? Sure. Basically, we're going to cut the slabs off. We're going to cut the top three feet off of the slabs and see if that's going to make a difference and go from there i guess what else do you do we got to try something other than putting fucking snow fence up we're putting all my wind breaks up out in the field out that way we got to do something so i'm going to fire up the chainsaw jump in the back of the side by side a cp drives and hopefully i don't kill myself the way she drives, it's a little bit sketchy sometimes. <laughs> you're you're too far away. You got to be right against the slabs, so that you can't crawl out of the machine on the driver's side. Then on the other side, so yeah. So what? What's the difference? Because then I won't hit the pole. No, you would hit the crawl. Stand there. I'll fucking take you. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna let you go we'll talk to y'all later oh there that's ah, a little wavy on the top but whatever the string was bouncing up and down every once in a while and then i'd get off off my line so Plus, I had a crazy-ass driver that kept trying to bounce me out of the box of the side-by-side as I'm working yeah, a chainsaw. Ride. Ride your life. Driving like a drunk man. <laughs> drunk woman, worse yet. At least a drunk man will generally keep it on the road, but the woman, she hits all the fence posts and the signs. And, the, uh -huh. and if you're in an area where the mailboxes are out... <laughs> Goodbye mailbox. Crazy ass woman driver. Yeah. Sober one. <laughs> so now we gotta pick up the cutoffs. 
And this thing is still going to catch a pile of snow, but maybe we'll get through three quarters of the winter before it's coming over the roof now. I don't know. Time will tell. Let's see if this is going to work at all, right? Anyway, I'll let you go. I'll catch you guys later. Mocha dogs, you're turning white. Only it's not from old age. It is friggin' snowing, guys. It's really coming down. For the past about hour and a half, since about 9, 9.30, it started, it started with a little bit of rain, and then it turned to this stuff, and we've had probably close to an inch, inch and a half of this friggin' powder. It's big flakes, big heavy wet flakes. Tractor's running, it just started him to warm him up. I gotta feed a couple of bales here this morning. The wood that was here, outside of those two pieces, uh, it's all cut, split, and stacked. Wood shack is uh, relatively full. I can still put more in if I can keep tossing it up high. But yeah, she's getting full. CP and I did a bunch of it last night. And then my chainsaw run out of gas this morning and I gotta get busy with feeding some cattle here uh, around bales anyway. So, and then we'll see what happens after that. Grab my tarp, which is covered in snow right now and I'll cover this guy up and we'll get to work at uh, putting bales down. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty guys, well, jeez. Sorry about that, just about dropped you. Anyways. The flag is kind of, I'm not sure what, I think it's blowing this way a little bit. Um, anyways, maybe it is the other way, kind of south, southerly direction. It's not snowing like it was, but it's still snowing just a hint, a little bit. You can kind of sort of see it. Not really. Kind of. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. But more than that, it's turning to sleet. So, I could fire up the little walk behind snow blower, but nope. And no, I did not get that wood cut. I could fire that guy up, but I figure let's leave it alone until it's completely done and this system is gone. Because a buddy of mine, he's on his way home from Swift Current area. He drove there all the way there and now all the way back in this shit. Anyway, he said on the radio, it's, uh, we could see 70k wind tomorrow. So, well, that ain't gonna be no goddamn fun. So, I think today. We'll be feeding the cows up good so I don't have to worry about starting a tractor tomorrow. Piggies are fed. So yeah, going in for some lunch and we'll catch you guys later. It's gonna fall over. That is one very crooked snowman. <laughs> hey, I don't see you out here. <laughs> yeah, he's a little lopsided. Just like you. <laughs> I'm starting a fire. Later. Alrighty guys, how the hell are you doing today? 
um, like nine o'clock in the morning, nine thirty. We got a pile of snow yesterday, which was kind of a didn't do a lot, just fed cows and that was it. But we ended up getting somewhere in the line of a damn, I would say damn close to six inches of snow. And it's heavy, wet snow. And my fire is still kind of smoldering away, burning away here. My garbage pit fire. Smoking away. I figured with all the snow, it would be a perfect time to light her up. Get rid of some of that stuff that's down there. Anyways, got uh, the calves are fed up here this morning, and I'm just got to head out and grab another bale for the cows, and then we got to grab a, another bale for the bulls. So let's get these animals fed. It's not overly cold, but the wind is gusting to 60k, so that way she's kind of nasty. Uh, the snow it's so heavy it's not really moving much you wouldn't think with 60k wind you would think that Christ we should be an all out blizzard but it's not happening that way because the snow is so wet and heavy we also had with that snow we had rain here so yeah uh, apparently there's a couple of overturned or jackknife rigs on the highways and so on and so forth just all that fun stuff that goes with uh, winter conditions, right? Anyways, I'm going to grab another bale and we'll bring you guys back once I get it unrolled. Talk to you then. There we go. So they got a... Roughly two, almost, I guess, I think some of these bales could be almost three-year-old hay bale. In fact, the first one is, because it's with the little baler. And then we brought them a good hay bale from this year. Two big hay bales is too much. They don't clean it up, they waste a lot. Um, but one big bale and one smaller bale, they seem to do pretty good with it. So. And I've been mixing it up the alfalfa grass that had a lot of volunteer clover every second day they'll get one of those and then uh, uh, on days that they don't get those they get uh, an alfalfa grass without clover so and it's almost getting to the point where I'm getting really tempted to hook up the bale processor and just shred the bales out. I still haven't got heard back from my tub grinder guy to see when he wants to come and grind a bunch of bales because it would sure be nice to put these girls on a cut feed ration versus feeding up a bunch of good hay bales right now. Anyways, but It'll happen, just when, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, let's get a bail for the bulls. We'll talk to you guys later. Well, chores are all done. There. That's how much snow we've had, guys. That much. Now the wind wants to blow, but it's not really moving the snow much. But CP just came out and gave me a hand with the bulls for the gate, because those fuckers will run out the gate of the corral uh, once you open it. If you don't, if somebody's not there. So anyway, she was telling me a charter bus that had a pile of people in it either rolled or flipped on its side and everybody's in the hospital babe I can't see your car I know. 
You need a brush? Watch. You gotta wipe the snow up. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I think this is gonna be it for the next day or so. So I'll let you go. We'll talk to y'all later. Yep. Just checking to make sure this thing's going to work for everybody this hunting season. Just brought in a full tank, 20 pound bottle. Got it hooked up. You can smell it. You can, you can smell it outside. The propane. Yeah. Yeah. So just making sure that it's going to work properly. My lights aren't working. Put new batteries in. Try that one. Oh. That one's working. You didn't hook that one up proper. You probably put the batteries in backwards. Maybe I put them in the wrong end because there's two spots. Oh, I think I only did one side. <laughs> so it's working on the low side. That's high. So we know this is working. Yeah, I did. Are you kidding? There's a lot of heat that comes off this little bastard, let me tell you. Yeah, you want to go count them? Babe? Babe? Huh? You want to go camping? Uh. Not right now. You always say no, okay? Who wants to go camping? And we'll shut her down. There we go. I gotta shut the tank off, babe. There we go. So that we know is working good for everybody now. And with the tank that's in here, it'll last for a few years, so that's a positive. What are you doing, babe? I was seeing about batteries. You don't got batteries here? Mm -hmm. No. Well, you got one light. One is better than none. We'll shut that guy off. Okay. It's end of day, basically. I got choring to do, but with the snow on the roof plus this thing being insulated, it wouldn't take Hey? There's no snow in the window sills. Did you see my tinted windows? No, I didn't pay attention for your tinted windows, sorry. Huh. Didn't do it. You okay, tinted bye. them? You tinted them? Oh yeah, I did. That one and this one. That's why it's so goddamn dark in here. <laughs> Alrighty guys. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get something done. Catch you all later.